What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to lose weight without counting calories. So if that's what you're struggling with or wanna know how, watch this video and let's get started. Let's go. So I'm going to be giving you guys five different tips on my recommendations in order to be able to do this effortlessly and successfully. So starting off with number one is going to be mindful calories. What do I mean by that? So you know when you're finished eating and you have some food left over and you're full, but you just want to finish the plate. That way the plate is clean, squeaky clean. That's one mistake that a lot of people do, even myself from time to time. That's one mistake that many people do and you're just simply adding more and more calories to your body even though it's full. You get what I'm saying? So instead of doing that, my recommendation is to eat a little bit slower because when you're eating slower, the food is, is processing within your brain and it's sending signals across your body telling you, hey, I'm getting full a lot more sooner than expected, so let's cut down on the eating. And actually, you're going to eat a little bit less and you're going to save on those extra calories instead of going for one bite, maybe another bite after a couple of minutes, or if you're in a crowd or in a restaurant talking, you're getting a little bit of chips and dip. You get what I'm saying? Those are the things that you want to avoid doing. That way you save on those calories and just focus on eating up until the point that you're full. Don't always try and finish the plate, if that makes sense. Okay. Tip number two is going to be, you want to center your meals around protein because protein is the most thermogenic of all macronutrients, protein, fat, and carbs. And thermogenic means that it takes longer for your body to burn off, meaning that since it does take a little bit longer, you're burning a little bit of extra calories simply by just eating protein. So when you're planning a meal or you're cooking or anything like that, or you're going to eat at a restaurant, make sure that you're eating a high protein meal every single time that you're eating because you're going to get more full because protein does fill you up a lot more than any other macronutrient and also is going to help you burn off the fat a little sooner because extra protein does not hurt now compared to eating less protein than your body needs does hinder your performance and your overall physique because you're not eating enough protein so if you're weight training you're going to struggle with building muscle you're going to struggle keeping muscle so eating a high protein diet is very efficient and very important for every and anybody that is wanting to lose weight and also tone their body moving on to tip number three so tip number three is eating high volume foods so my personal high volume foods consist of potatoes consist of watermelon smart popcorn things like that those are some of the things that I typically eat when I'm wanting to eat high volume. You could also build a salad, put some grilled chicken on it, things like that. You can put a lot and a lot of food and it's all relatively low calorie no matter what. And it's going to fill you up and it's going to be super low calorie. So eating things like that is going to help you stay full for longer and also allow you to feel like you're eating a lot of food, but not a lot of calories. So you're kind of tricking your brain to think, okay, hey, I'm eating a big meal. This is probably a lot of calories, so I'm full. And when you combine that with eating a little bit slower, it's a game changer. You cannot lose. And moving on to tip number four, we're going to be focusing on portion control. So when you're eating without tracking anything or any food type of measurement, you obviously are going to eat some sort of protein, some sort of carb, and some sort of fat. So what do you do with that stuff? In order to feel like you're having an efficient amount of each single macronutrient without overdoing it and having to worry, am I eating too much? Am I eating too little? This is what you do. And for anyone that wants a more simplified guide, here it is right here. So for a protein, you want to have about a hand full of protein, like your palm. That's, a, that's the correct amount of protein that you should be having for you specifically. Now, if you're focusing on carbs, imagine like you have a bowl of rice, grabbing a handful and closing your hand, that's the correct amount of carb that you should be having, if that makes sense. So about a handful and then cupped and closed. That's the amount of carbs that you should be having. And in order to see how much fat you're having, you generally want to focus on a thumb. That is the amount of fat that you should be having. 
So protein, palm, carbs, handful, fat, a thumb. So that is the portion control that you should be having. And for anyone wondering, how would that really work? This is how it is. So for anyone that is unsure that this might work for them, only do it specifically to your hand and to the benefit of you, you always have your hands around, of course. So something that not many people know is that your hand is relative to you, of course, and that works in your favor. So when you're going to eat, specifically targeting your hand as a measurement tool, that works specifically for you. So and moving on to the last tip that I'm going to give you guys, which is tip number five, is limit liquid calories. So a lot of people think that if you're having a low calorie juice or a low calorie protein shake or anything like that, that's no problem. But you also want to remember, hey, that has calories. Typically juices or things like that, any type of liquid calorie doesn't really fill you up as much as whole foods, if that makes sense. So does that mean that you can't have any? Absolutely not. You can absolutely have them. But what I mean by that is you want to limit them. So in my opinion, if you are a soda lover like me, go ahead and have something like a Coke Zero or a diet soda, which is zero calorie and is going to allow you to enjoy it, fulfill that sweet tooth craving that you might have of soda all while having zero calories so typically when I'm dieting or want to keep the calories low what I'll have is a very 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 low calorie coffee that's one water or zero calorie soda that's typically what I'll have and those are the only things that I'll typically have excluding pre-workout and things like that when I'm going to work out but those are the five tips for me to you in order to lose weight without ever having to count calories so if this video helped you or if you want more tips, comment in down below in the comment section down below. Let me know what type of things you might be struggling with and I'll be sure to help you. So remember, new videos every Tuesday, every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time and YouTube Shorts almost on the daily. So I'm going to round this video up right here. Please subscribe to give this video a big thumbs up and thank you guys for watching. Ariel Sorio signing out. Thank you.